Hello the kids, it is high, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, I uh, checked out the way I could fix this, and uh, unfortunately the way I set up the Feeble Will quest, I cannot finish it the way I intended with him. But I can finish it. I'll just have to take a diminished reward because I took the wrong options, and that's on me. The way I can do it without having the without having the white glove society return to cannibalism the only way i can finish both of these quests is to have ted die and ted i'd have to kill by my own hand i cannot go after i cannot go after uh heck after that i was trying to remember his name so unfortunate but that's the best I can do so with that said uh, there's a couple things I need to do uh, Marjorie's not one of them <laughs> I need to go to the hotel room to talk to the investigator and from here on it's getting a little violent so you'll have to keep that in mind as soon as I enter this door. Yep. Here is Investigator Crusoe. That's a reference. Oh, hello. Come on, damn it. How did I miss you so many times? There we go. And there we are. And. Ooh, we didn't alert too many people. That's always nice. Okay. Uh, we'll take some of his crap. Take some of his crap. So that way, in uh, the best case scenario, we can dress up as a white glove to avoid suspicion. We'll just put the bodies in here. <laughs> so that way, oh, there's just bits of blood. It could have been just anything at all. Yeah, someone could have broke their nose. Someone could have cut themselves on like a uh, rusty little thing. You, you don't know. Just a bit of blood on the floor. That's all. Kind of matches with the decor a little bit, so there's that, yeah. It won't let me pick up the armor. God damn it. It won't let me pick up that one either. Ah! Shit. Okay, well. Alright, we need to go over here and uh, get the matchbook. The matchbook is the next phase of the investigator clue line. Because, apparently, they were doing some clandestine little meetings with uh, a couple moles within the... Uh, than the whole thing but uh for right now that it'd be so much easier if i could direct them like i can fall off for eddie come on come on out the door so i can shut it maybe ah for fuck's sake okay you just sit there you just sit there and then we'll fix things from here yeesh okay so I'm so annoyed that I'm going to be losing out on rewards this way, but it's the only way I can get this to go anywhere and complete the both... Complete both of the quests, rather. Complete the both. That's completely proper English. Alright, let's shut that door. Alright. Open this one. And, uh... The reason why I'm here is because that note says Steam Room 4pm. And this is the steam room right here as you can tell by the door so it's a it's a good thing they labeled the door otherwise people would be running around in this area going what the fuck where where's the thing supposed to be Duh. so yeah <laughs> I, I would at least be doing that so right now it's not 4 p.m i actually uh <laughs> my timing for this could not have been worse on the clock so yeah i'm gonna have to do a lot of waiting <laughs> <laughs> uh, 15 hours should be good enough. Maybe. We'll find out in a second. I have to go all the way to 4 p.m. So, I think I got it right. In fact, I might have did it a little too well. Nope, no, I did not. Okay, cool. Oh, no. My dehydration level increased. No. Okay. Uh, maybe another hour there we go and in the meantime 
This is another trick I learned. Apparently you can hold the button and you could just drink that way. I never knew this. Ever. No one ever told me. I never figured this out until I saw a fucking... <laughs> until I saw Pat's uh, from Super Best Friends play. Until I saw his stream about it. That was... Uh, and he was told this by someone else, so he didn't even know. But yeah, I saw it, and then he tested it, and he was like, holy shit, this is game-changing. And I was like, holy shit, I need to try this myself. And in the process of testing my solution to this quest, that's when I figured out it worked. <laughs> holy fuck. Uh, alrighty, anyway, other than that. <laughs> I'm getting off topic. I need to wait for the guy who should be coming in. There he is. There he is. There's the guy. There's our guy who we're supposed to talk to, but we're supposed to act nonchalant. Just like we're normal customers, except I'm dressed up in fucking okay. armor. I'll do my best. Well, that's all you can do. I, I don't expect you to do anything less. Just dressed up in my best with a bowie knife on my hip. Yeah, that's completely normal. Hey, Chauncey. Who are you? Uh, I'm looking for someone who went missing. So was the man I'm supposed to be meeting here. Where is he? Ah, uh, he dead. Oh my goodness, me. They must know he was talking to someone on the inside. Yep. They'll be watching everyone closer now. I knew this was a mistake. Uh, who are you afraid of? Mortimer. If he realizes it was me the investigator was planning to meet, he'll have me killed. Oh, so you were the worm within the organization. Okay, fair enough. What were you supposed to discuss here? The girl. The one who disappeared. I know what happened to her. Do you? How do you know what happened to the girl? Because I distracted her fiance while they took her. Oh. Well, I'm not proud of it, but I had to. They could see I was having second thoughts. Some of the white gloves began meeting privately a while back. Started talking about how we'd lost our identity. Oh. I started attending because I thought it was about changing our politics. Fair. Then they started talking about returning to the old ways, and there was no way out. They oh, killed me for the shit. things I heard them say. So, you, you joined thinking it was one thing, and then they... Oh. Oh. That's unfortunate. <laughs> you, you just got pulled into the bullshit without even really wanting to be in the bullshit. Oh, I'm sorry, man. So, is Mortimer behind all of these disappearances? Yes. The White Glove Society strictly forbids eating humans. But we weren't always the White Glove Society. True. Mortimer and some of the others have regressed to the old ways. Oh. They've taken many people over the last few months, but always from freeside or secluded places where they wouldn't be missed. Uh. It wasn't enough. Lately, they've gone for tourists here on the Strip, even in the hotel. I guess that's the hazard of a cannibal becoming a gourmet. It's hard to please a refined palate. I see. That explains it. That would make sense. Uh, <laughs> of, course, uh, of course, I wouldn't, you know, personally know. But, then again, no one really knows that many cannibals in this day and age. Uh, at least not, um, many. <laughs> what about Ted Gunderson? What about him? He's alive, as far as I know. Oh, good. Trying to keep him fresh. Ish. Mortimer has special plans for him. Oh, does he? White Glove Society has a banquet every night at 7. It's in our private section. Uh-huh. Mortimer wants to reintroduce humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime we punish by death, he's going to do it in secret. I see. After everyone has eaten it, he'll tell them. With no real way to punish everyone, in Mortimer's mind anyway, their minds will be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. Oh. That is... That is devious. That is devious and clever, and I love it. <laughs> if, if it wasn't for the fact that I'm against it technically in the game, I would love it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ted's father is a wealthy man with his resources. This should be easy to stop. That may be true, but I wouldn't recommend it. He's built a reputation, and it isn't for calmness and impartiality. True. He's not what he looks like. They call him Hurricane Heck. Oh. The man built his empire by hiring mercenaries to drive off the competition. And that's another Lately, story corroborating what Heck uh, supplier, so he can take over the business. Sets. He's the sort to pound in a nail with a wrecking ball. 
If ah. you give him the whole story on this, he'd be liable to raise the entire hotel. And God knows what he'd do to the rest of the strip. Uh, blow it the hell up, most likely. Wouldn't they punish Mortimer for the deception? They might, but to him, the legacy of returning to the old ways is worth his own life. I don't think he expects it, though. I don't either. Ah. Nothing is more important to the society than being on the cutting edge of New Vegas cuisine. Mortimer's idea will appeal to that need. True. He just has to get them over the taboo. Yeah, that's the main problem he's facing there. Where are they keeping him? I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them will stop trusting me. I see. But you can bet they're keeping him near the gourmand. Our chef, Philippe, has an obsession with fresh ingredients. I see. It'll be right. back in the members only section. So you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen. And more importantly, don't let them see Ted in the open. Fair it's guarded enough. both at the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. Uh, how do I get in? I could sponsor you as an honorary member. The oh. right gloves are always looking for people who can elevate their status. You Fair certainly enough. fit the bill with everything you've done around here. Otherwise, you'll have to find some way to get inside quietly. It won't be easy. And it'll be harder still to get them out. Hmm. Any suggestions on how? Is there anything else? No. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, they'll all be sampling pre-war wines before the meal. Maybe it's as simple as drugging them. Hmm. Although, that wouldn't stop any future kidnappings. True. You'd have to expose Mortimer. But he's going to confess anyway. True. What if... What if his revelation were a lie? What if no one had eaten human flesh but him? If ah. you could somehow replace Philippe in the kitchen and serve a convincing substitute instead... You could walk Ted right through the middle of that room after Mortimer speaks, and then he'd have some explaining to do. Philippe has mm -hmm. been trying to approximate the taste of human flesh for years. He must have a recipe somewhere. Well, here's hoping. All right, let's uh, let's get rid of Philippe and let's uh, take his job. <laughs> All right, goodbye. Let's plan on meeting again as soon as. Yeah. Wait, did you hear something? Were you followed? Dot. I don't think I was. Oh, shit! You motherfucker! Well, there's that. And Chauncey's dead. Alright, I should let you guys in. Uh, that's a scripted event. He's gonna die regardless. Even if I kill him before the first shot. Even if I kill the assassin before the first shot, Chauncey dies anyway. So, again, unfortunate, but it's kind of... Unavoidable. So, there's that. Okay. Let's drag his ass into here. So we don't disturb the customers with what we're doing here. Figuring out little murderers and whatnots and kidnappers and bullshit. Okay. I'm gonna use all of those items that I just picked up. Mainly to repair other stuff. Uh, there's that. Yeah, I'll save that for later. Um, blood nap. I'll use the, uh, yeah, I'll use a dress cane to fix that up. And because a dress cane weighs so much. That I'll keep just because it'd be nice to have something that could do that. And uh I should probably Yeah, I should probably repair all this up now. Uh white gloves society mask and Yeah, that's good. And repair this with another one of these. Not the king's outfit. Fuck no. There we go, and there, why not? There we go. And if I need to dress as a White Love Society member, I have that right there. All right, now, Chauncey can't sponsor me anymore, but we know someone who can, someone who's really high up the ladder. And it's right across from here. Go right into the gourmand. And here we are. Hi there, Marjorie. Welcome to the Ultra Lux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. Yeah, yeah but thus far, it's uh, exceeding more of my expectations than you possibly realize, but uh, you won't know that until after seven. I want to join the White Glove Society. I was told I'd need a sponsor. Why, yes, of course. The White Glove Society is the most exclusive club in all of New Vegas. Perhaps the entire world. It's only natural that you'd need a sponsor from within the club who can vouch for your good name. Oh, Originally, you. we didn't allow anyone else in, you see. 
founding members only. We thought exclusivity would make us the envy of everyone who's anyone. True. And it has. But then I had the idea to allow honorary members. Lower in status, naturally. Of course. But it just makes people want to be us even more. Fair. And the right people could certainly do wonders for our image. Celebrities, philanthropists. We want only the very sure. best. Philanthropists And still? you certainly fit the bill. Given your deeds on the strip alone, Thank I can you. safely say that you would be a prized addition to our honorary ranks. Dealing with the omertas you and all that. You have full support, and you are welcome to join us at our nightly banquets in our special section of the Gourmand. I hope to see you there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Ta-ta. Yeah, if I tell her that at all, she might so get really angry. Every day. Yeah, you're telling me, my man. <laughs> you are fucking telling me. Alrighty, let's get into the kitchen. Because now we have to head down and deal with Felipe and possibly Ted. Oh, look at that. I guess that's the way to cook their Brahmin. But it's all a front. They eat people. Uh, Soylent Green is people. Okay. Fucking head down here. I should probably do the disguise now. Is it necessary? Probably not. But it's nice to have it. Because I need to run into this guy. You. What do you think you're doing? Whoa, your eyes look demonic right now. Uh, Mortimer sent me to move the kid. Thinks one of his own might betray him. First he's too trusting. Now he doesn't trust any of us. That addles the senses. You don't say. I suppose caution is the desirable course at this point. It's all of our necks if something goes afoul. Oh, and something's gonna go afoul. All right, you don't even know. All right, where? Oh, that was in the wrong door. Okay, hi there. Hi there, greetings. Felipe. Greetings. Why are you standing still? Do you think the world waits for you while you stand there drooling? Get back out there and get to work. Uh, you. Who do you think you are talking to me that way? Who do? Who the fuck do you think I am? I'm the fucking god of New Vegas Brahmin Fusion Cuisine, that's who. Oh, wow. No, no, that doesn't even give me the credit I deserve. I fucking invented edible food. I think you're Do you like eating? Good. You owe me your entire goddamn garbage existence. Um, pretty sure you are out of your mind. Uh, I think you have me confused with someone else right now. Oh, really? So despite your filthy face and your vacant expression and your complete lack of human dignity, you're telling me you're not a server. You... First off, A, wow, way to insult servers everywhere. B, uh, no, I don't work for you. Um, I'm a new honorary member of the White Glyph Society. Well, what do you want? I'm very busy here. Uh, I think I saw a red roach in the pantry. You should check it out. No, it'll ruin my ingredients. Yep. And then Can't you see I'm busy? I, I can get the rest of these as well. I might as well. Uh, <laughs> your predisposition... This one's great. Your predisposition towards anger suggests unresolved issues in your past. What kind of harebrained fucking psychobabble bullshit is that? Uh, I yell stuff. at people because I like yelling at people. And because they fucking deserve it. Not because Mumsy and Daddykins didn't hug me enough. You may be projecting. Tell me more about your parents. Oh, I see how it is. You think because my father walked out on us when I was five, now I have to yell at people. Yeah. Or because my mother was a deranged chem fiend who regularly brought strange men home who told me to call them uncle. Oh. Or because my sisters would lock me in a shipping crate when they didn't want me around. Oh. And my brother... God, I'd forgotten about that. How could they do that to me? Good I can't question. stay here. I need to be alone. Yeah. What about the banquet? Forget about the fucking banquet. You know what? You can do it. You be the star chef. Take my recipes. It won't fill the hole, though. Just remember that. You'll always feel empty. Oh. Poor boy. <laughs> oh. I feel bad for him. <laughs> At the same time, he's still an asshole. <laughs> okay. Um. So. I'm supposed to cook with this. Now that I have his recipe... I can do it from his recipe, which is probably better than doing an improvisation. But I'll just do it by his recipe. There we go. Use the intercom to call the head waiter, which I have to wait until 7 to be able to do. 
which is an annoying pain in the ass, but hey, that's how it goes. Ted's over this way, but I cannot technically free him, quote-unquote, just yet, because if I do, that'll set off the head waiter, and the head waiter will become hostile and try to kill us all. So, um, we'll just do this real quick. Uh, oh, I could take this. Whoopsie. That's not what I meant to do, but it works. Um, take that. Oh, I've lost karma with a bunch of cannibals. Oh, no. Who would have thunk it? Okay. I can get that last one, too, but at the same time, I don't want to waste all the time in the world. Because I only have specific episode timers that I do, and right now we're kind of drifting over that line. Uh, call the head waiter. How may I assist? Uh, time to serve the meal. At once. Thank you. Alrighty. And he's going to be coming down. I'm going to be over here. He's going to grab the meat. There you are. And away he goes. I once ran into a glitch where he just stood there. <laughs> <laughs> and it was that particular stand there that I found out that if you have Ted out and about while you're uh, doing this particular portion, he will come and kill you. <laughs> so, it's better off if you just wait until he's out of eye shot, or better yet, out of the zone. And right now, he's drifting closer and closer out. So that's good. All right. With that taken care of, now we can go after Ted, who is right in here. Hi there! If the NCR ain't gotta worry about Caesar no more, it should worry about improving the lives of regular folks around here. Well, they'll eventually work on that. Anyway. My daddy's gonna kill all you bastards once he finds out what you done to me. Uh, I'm not one of them bastards, A, and B, your grammar is atrocious. Come to, <laughs> calm down, I've come to get you out of here. My daddy sent you? Yeah. God damn it. I almost died in here. What the hell took you so long? It's just one damn hotel. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at them. Fair enough. Some members of the White Glove Society, they were going to eat you. What in the Sam hell? Eat me? What kind of sick bastards would eat a person? I'll tell you what. As soon as I'm out of here, and my daddy knows the story, you can bet there ain't gonna be no White Hat Society no more. White Hat Society. That's not even right. Okay, the White Glove Society isn't to blame, just Mortimer and a few others. To hell with that. You've seen those freaks. They dress the same, talk the same. You can bet they all eat the same, too. That's generalizing. They deserve what my daddy's gonna have coming for him. That's generalizing and relatively bigoted of you, honestly. Uh, I could always leave you here if you aren't gonna listen. All right, all right. But there's gonna be some justice one way or another. I'll see to that. Uh -huh. Let's go. I'll be right behind you. Not if you don't live long enough. Okay, well, <laughs> that's a whole different kettle of fish. All right, let's see how far along the guy is. And I think, I think we've managed to miss most of his movements, which is good because we don't need him popping up on us out of nowhere. Oh, good. Good. Just need to be sneaking. And out we go. I know I'm not the scheduled speaker, but I have a few words if I may. There was a time not so long ago when we were bound together not as members, but as family, as a clan. And when Mr. House came to us with his proposal, we accepted, knowing we stood to gain much. Mm -hmm. Little did we know how much we'd lose in the process. Yeah, cannibalism. As a society, we've endeavored to sample the finest food and drink the world has to offer. But we are living a lie. <clears throat> there is a meat sweeter than the most corn-fed livestock. Most of you have tasted it. All of you have covered it. Among us, it is a crime to discuss a return to the old ways that unified our people. Mm. Tonight, that all changes. The taboo ends, 
Let me finish, Marjorie. You don't know it yet, but you are all now guilty of a greater crime, one that ordinarily bears the harshest of punishments. Surely that you are all guilty warrants not only universal amnesty, but also a renewed discussion. For our society to be truly elite, we must dine on the most delicious, the most exclusive food known to us. Uh -huh. And tonight, for the first time as a society, you are sampling that very dish, the meat we are forbidden to taste, the way it was meant to be eaten. Fellow members of the White Glove Society, bonus. Yeah, about that. Hey, buddy. What the? Who is this trespasser? Uh, bad news, Mortimer. Nobody's eating the boy you kidnapped tonight. What are you? Why is he there? Who are we eating right now? No one. Secret recipe. It isn't human, though. I can tell you that. No. These are lies. I never kidnapped anyone. Uh-huh. Even if I did, there's no harm done. He's alive, after all. Uh-huh. You've already said too much. You're all hypocrites. How can you claim to be connoisseurs yet deny yourselves the greatest of all meats? I am ashamed to have once called everyone here family. This isn't over, though. Oh, yeah? I'll begin anew. The White Glove Society will never achieve the greatness of my new order. Oh, yeah? You'll all hear from me again. Will we now? About that. And he runs off. And you are still angry as shit, as I can tell. Inform yes man, we've dealt with the White Glove Society and kept them from cannibalism, which is nice. It's always good. Alright, I think by this time, I can switch back into my normal armor. There we are. Perfect. Alright. Greetings. Great. Alright then. <laughs> Something's going on there. Hi there, Marjorie. Oh, oh my. How unfortunate. Yeah. And in front of all these people, too. Yeah. He always was a bit of a pill, Mortimer. A bit he of a so pill. He was so pouty when I decided to ban eating pouty. people. And now this. You're being so nice about it. I should have paid more attention it. to the warning signs. He's a jackass. Can you imagine what people would have said? Why, it would have been a complete scandal if it weren't for you. You're welcome. <laughs> I can still tell her it's okay I eat people, too. Bye-bye. Ta-ta. Idolized. Yay. All right. And now we come to the murder portion mm -hmm. of our day. We have to go up to the room. We don't have to, but, I mean, it's easier because then there's less prying eyes and pissy pandas. <laughs> There we are. Good stuff. Here we are. And Mortimer's heading out the door still. Gotta go around and go to where the uh, Gunderson's main room is, which is the penthouse floor. So we just go into there. There we are. Switch weapons. Yep. And it's dead already. Wow. Good job on you. And there we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. And here's the other one. He's not aggro right now, but he will be if he gets close enough. Get that shot, and you're down. Beautiful. And take all your stuff. Well, I mean, all of that. Anyway. All of the important stuff, that's what really matters. Alright. Wow, I blew all of their heads off. Jeez. Alright. And then... Yep. Just need to drag you. There we are. Okay. There we are. And there's nothing good on you. Okay, cool. Now we head out. Now that that's done, the murder section is now completed. We finish that up. We go over to Heck, who is not that far away from here, thankfully. And we inform of him 
we inform him to the bad news. Just letting him know what happened. And he'll be none the wiser. If the NCO ring got... Ah, uh, no, no. Tell me good news. Uh, there's none. Ted's dead. Confound it. I knew I should have stayed with him. Ted, I'm so sorry, boy. I demand to know who did this. Uh, it was Mortimer, one of the white gloves who had Ted taken. He's a cannibal. Well, that does it. None of them maniacs will ever do business with Hag Gunderson long as they live. Hell, I'll put me together a damn blockade. Hit them where it hurts. They control the food? Well, there ain't gonna be no food. Not for anybody in this whole damn town. It's a goddamn monument to inhumanity. Let them starve. Um, Biggest favor anyone's ever done this hell. Why punish the rest of them only for, like, one of them? That's just what they want. You'd be driving the city to eat each other. I don't like this place. Whole strip, really. Ever since I got here, the stink of it has flooded my nostrils. Oh, yeah? But you got a point. They're already hell-bent on depravity here. All I'd be doing is helping them along. Yeah, you would. All right. Well, I promised you I'd make it worth your while. So here you are. Yeah, up. you did. Try not to lose it all at the same casino. Oh, believe me, I'll try. And the strip likes me. Yay! <laughs> no, I killed Ted Gunderson. Okay, and then the next section is heading over to Walter Feeble. Telling him Hex in no good condition. Alrighty. And I'm just getting all the items back. It'll take a while. Alrighty. Walter! Phoebus, rather. Howdy. Not feeble. Good seeing you again. <laughs> I'm a doofus. Alright, I have news about them. You have? What are you waiting for, kid? Spill the beans. I couldn't complete it like I said, but Ted's a goner. Good work. I'm sorry that stupid mail order cowboy ended like that, but his father's misery makes it well worthy. This deserves a good compensation, kid. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. I'm a man of my word. Here's your money. You've earned it. There we go. Eh, that's not as big a payout as it would have been. But, we kept the uh, white gloves from cannibalism. And I think that's worth morally more than anything else. Eh, ah, uh, we are quite a bit over time. Holy fuck. Okay, ah, uh, fucking hell. Okay, I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and dealing with feeble will and uh, beyond the beef in the best way we know how. Which is to try and keep the white gloves from cannibalism. And quite frankly I didn't know how I had to test this and then look stuff up. <laughs> Because I have no idea what I'm doing for you.